So your client reports to you that they have a headache right after your session. What happens? Is this good? Is this loom and doom? What is it? So this video is going to explain to you how this is actually a very common and typical thing uh, that our clients experience. So client comes afterwards and they say, you know, after that, I've had a headache. And one of the explanations for this is I actually heard a, an explanation for it that doesn't really make sense, but I'll tell you what actually is going on in the body and why a client might have a headache, right? So obviously there are many reasons as to why we have a headache, right? Uh, it is a perception that we have, everyone experiences or perceives a headache differently. So that is going to be a, a, a something that is going to be very unique for that particular person. Something like neck tightness can cause headaches, right? Dehydration can cause headaches. Um, the blood flow or lack of blood flow, lack of food, like lack of energy in the brain can cause these things that, that will be uh, perceived to be headaches. So it could really be any or all of those things for your clients, right? So maybe the client was just dehydrated after your sessions before and after and didn't hydrate. And that could be one of the things as to why. And also we want to really look at um, the brain, right? If we're doing hypnosis, which is work with the unconscious mind, we, unless we're just giving our clients suggestions blatantly and they're not doing anything, when our clients actually think, when they use when they use their mental resources, that actually takes up a lot of our energy. It takes a lot of calories for us to use our brains. <clears throat> our brains take up to 20% of our daily energy requirements. It's a very energy hungry organ. So it would make sense that after a session when our clients have used their brains, their unconscious mind, that they would get something like a headache because um, of all the energy that's been put in. And if you have a client session that lasts for two hours or so, uh, and they haven't drank water or they haven't hydrated even 24 hours and 24 hours before or after, it makes sense that they would have something like a headache, right? Or if they haven't eaten adequately nutritious food or rested, that would make sense that they have a headache. So don't freak out. It's a, a big thing. And one of the things that I found ridiculous, this was in a Facebook group. Someone said that um, it's because you, <laughs> it's funny to me, it's because we brought our clients too fast from being in hypnosis to being awake. And that's, you know, like from, from a somno somnambulous state to like an awake hypnosis state, that's why they have a headache. Like there's no proof in that unless the client went like this um, and are sleeping or very, very relaxed and you just woke them up and they went like this and they got like the whiplash in their <laughs> brains because they woke, woke up too fast. Yeah, no, that's not a great explanation for it. That doesn't actually make any sense. So, uh, however, the brain taking up a lot of energy is going to be, it is something that actually makes sense based on how our brain and our body works. So how do we deal with this, right? How do we deal with this? The post hypnosis practices and um, plan that you want to give your clients um, is something that is some you want to is what you want to think about, right? Uh, inside our ACH sessions, we have this processing chat that we tell all of our clients, and this is really the only thing that is more or less scripted inside our sessions where we really uh, tell a client what to expect the normalcy headaches are quite normal for it and what we advise our clients moving forward which is hydrate go outside get some movement in get the blood flow going nap rest chill recuperate um, and take it easy for the day um, some people think that you know, clients and hypnotherapists think that, you know, in our your hypnosis sessions, you're going to relax. But if you're actually doing real transformational change work, it's not going to be sunshine and rainbows, right? So we want to set our clients up so that they um, 
so that they actually make the time to to rest and recuperate for at least the day of our session. So that is what you want to do. Um, and really to answer that question, it is, is it typical? It is common. It is normal. And don't freak out about it and think that there's something wrong. Um, a lot of the time, some hypnotherapists are like, oh my God, it's going to be such an always pleasant experience. Truth is healing work is not always a pleasant experience. It's not always sunshine and rainbows. And if our hypnosis sessions are only sunshines and rainbows, we're not doing anything right because <laughs> real healing work makes you look at the things that you don't want to look at yourself that is how we grow through the discomfort, not the willy nilly of I'm just going to relax my body and visualize everything. No, that's bypassing. That can set a client up for more um, problems in the future than actually help them. So change that narrative around, hop on to the ACH program where you'll actually learn what real transformational work is all about. So let's make a massive impact together, one conversation at a time, and I'll see you soon.